thing. Well, hi, my name's Ian, and I want to welcome you to another five minute family devotion here at Ingadine Hitcote Anglican Church. Now, on the weekend at church, we started a new sermon series looking at God's big story. And we're looking all throughout the Bible to find out how the Bible is a story about how God loves his people and he wants them to be in relationship with him. Now, on Sunday, we learned that God made everything just by speaking. And today we're going to learn a little bit from Psalm 8. It's a song all about creation and about how God cares for everything but one thing particular above everything else, God cares for us. Now, King David pondered the size of everything one day in Psalm chapter 8, and he wrote this. When I consider your heavens, talking about God's heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have put in place. Well, have you ever gone out in the night sky and just looked up into the sky? When you go out into the country and there are no lights and it's just such a clear sky, there is so much to look at. It seems as though all the stars out there are endless. All those little dots that you see, they're stars just like our sun. Now we learn on the weekend that God put the stars in the sky. He put the sun and the moon in the sky and they are huge. God made them and God controlled them just by speaking. Did you know the sun is so big that 1,300,000 Earths could fit inside it? And not only that, there are millions of stars like that in the universe. They're all the night lights that you see in the sky. Well, God made them all and he knows them all. And they're pretty big. The closest star apart from our sun is so far away that it takes four years for the light to travel from that to us. Now that's a long way. Well, David pondered that. He thought, wow, God's really big. But David also pondered some other things. He went, well, all the flocks and herds, all the animals in the wild, all the birds of the sky, all the fish in the sea, all that swim in the paths of the sea. God knows all of them. Now, there are lots of animals in our world, lots. Did you know that God knows all of them? Because he made them. He knows everything about the biggest elephant. He knows everything about the cute little animals like the red panda and baby chicks. But God knows even more than that. He knows all the creatures in the sky. He made them. He knows everything about the biggest birds, the Andean condors all the way down to the smallest birds, the bee hummingbird. But God knows even more than that. He knows all the creatures in the sea. He made them. He knows everything about the biggest whale all the way down to the tiniest little fish. But even more than that, and perhaps the most amazing thing is, given how big the universe is and how big the oceans are and how big the sky is, David said this, what is mankind? that you are mindful of them, human beings, that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands and you put everything under their feet. You see, God made us and he knows us. He made us amazingly to rule over everything in his creation and to care for everything in his creation. And even on top of all that, God wants us to be in relationship with him forever. Even though we are so small when we're compared to a whale or compared to an elephant or even compared to the moon or the sun, God cares for us and he wants to know us personally. We must be really important to God. Now, David knew God was amazing and he knew that he would care for us. And David said, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. It's pretty amazing to think that God is that big, but he cares for us 
and wants a relationship with us. And in a couple of seconds, a couple of questions are going to come up on the board. And as a family, I want to invite you to read, to think, and to pray. Now pause the video as you do each one of those together as a family. And remember, keep sending your photos in and we'll say good day to you.